babes, welcome to my channel! Today I have a very squeaky, ow, and painful wig try on and giveaway for you wonderful. This video is very kindly sponsored by I'm Style Wigs because girl gotta eat. You know that I will 100% still give my absolute honest opinion because fries and lies do not go hand in hand. The truth and a boost. Oh, but boost chocolate bars are my favorite. You have to eat all the chocolate off the outside and then that weird stuff in the middle. But then every time I eat the weird stuff in the middle by itself, I'm like, I don't think I actually like this, but I will still go and buy a boost the next time I'm at the shop. Anyway, or a crunchy. No, crunchies give me sensory issues. I'm getting it right now, stop. Today I have a wig haul review try on slash giveaway just for you guys and for my patrons. I'm Style Wigs, very kindly, they messaged me and they said we have this wig that we think you would look amazing in. Okay, they didn't say that, they said, do you want this wig? And I was like, okay. I've had I'm Style Wigs before and I really like them. I have, I usually wear wigs every single day, but I, well about a month ago, I sorted my hair out, I fixed it up, believe me, this is it, fixed. And I'm loving it. And I'm just trying to wear my real hair a bit more. Oh, I've got a fan on and it's making too much noise. I'm trying to wear my real hair a bit more than I usually do. And so far I'm loving it. But I do, I do have a soft spot for a wig because the idea that you can just change your hair, you can flip Uno reverse it, you can catfish yourself. So, I'm Style Wigs, oh, there is two in here, come in these really nice satin bags. They are drawstring. I, uh, I have a wig here. This is one of my human hair wigs and this is what it looks like. I just chuck my wigs anywhere. I do not take care of my wigs. So um, the fact that they come in little bags is really helpful because I would, I'm more likely to take care of it if I can chuck it in a bag rather than just chuck it on my chair bed. So all the wigs come with um, wig caps. Um, I'm gonna wear my own wig caps so you will get this with you with your prayers. They come with I'm Style instructions, high quality, silky, tangle, blah, before and after, when the before and after is clearly hair extensions, not a wig. Um, how to put the wigs on, that's definitely a wig. Um, okay, yeah, they come with a lot. Do not brush. Psh, I brush all my wigs. I'm Style Cell, I'm, <laughs> Cell I'm, <laughs> I'm Style Cell high quality synthetic wigs that can be cut, coloured, curled, treated like real hair. The first wig I have to show you is something that I tried desperately to do to my own hair and I failed. This is the closest I got to having split black and white hair. I tried toners, I tried white hair dye, everything to get my hair white and it just wasn't having any of it. I did manage to get my fringe white but the journey to get your actual hair white is so damaging and I just, mm, nah. As, as you can tell, we ended up with black hair so it did not go well. So when they messaged me and said, we'd love you to try this wig, I was a little bit like, oh, well, I didn't fail. I had to, I had to, because I have such a soft spot for split black and white hair. And I just dyed my hair black from split and I I honestly thought that when this came I was gonna be all like oh my god I miss my split hair but I don't know I haven't even opened it yet this is a this is a prize by the way you can win this oh that's thick I've just, I've just got my hand around it like that is so thick oh baby I'm, I'm not missing my that is very black and white I am not missing my split hair as much as I thought I was going to but I feel like this wig may may make me miss it it's come with a piece of scrumpled up dick shaped tissue paper inside the wig itself has comb a uh, comb at the back which is bent let's bend you back it has combs on the side, which I only like to wear wigs that have combs on the side because I put my wig caps, I don't put them like right to the front, I don't glue them down, I literally just pop them on. And so far, all the years I've been wearing wigs, none of them have slipped off. And I hook the wig clips, so I pull my wig down and I kind of 
flip the wig clips under the wig cap and they've always stayed on. You wait, today will be the day they don't stay on. The netting is not stretchy, but it is elastic at the back and adjustable. So that's nice, because that means it'll fit my big fat head. It's lace front, so I will be cutting the lace before I give it to you. But, um, oh, and it's curly. It does come in straight as well. <laughs> unlike me i love that this one's curly because i feel like straight wigs look a bit more wiggy than styled wigs styled wig unless they're overly styled if they're overly curled like kind of this one i think is a little bit overly curled but if i brush it through there and break some of those curls up a little bit it makes them look a little bit more realistic the fringe which i may accidentally cut because i'm a menace when it comes to cutting wigs is actually like Raven Teen Titans shaped. That's awesome. So I'm going to cut this. Where's my scissors? Scissors! So I have some craft scissors because I don't know where my hairdressing scissors have gone. My three pound eBay hairdressing scissors, which actually are amazing. So all you do when you get lace front wigs is cut along the lace. All, and it's kind of heartbreaking because all these hairs have been individually sewn in and you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna get close and show you. So I'm gonna do that all the way along. Um, I'm, I'm just not neat when I cut my wigs. And it's a little bit annoying that they only come in one skin tone as well. Like you can't change the color of the lace. So let's try and keep that at a point. <gasps> okay, I think I did that all right. <laughs> <laughs> I am surprised. They definitely work better if you glue them down, but I can't be asked with that. Oh no, I've cut a big chunk of hair off. Oh, it wasn't that big. It's about the thickness of a pube, if you're the Hulk. <laughs> Here it is, it's super long. Perfect, absolutely perfect for Cruella cosplay. Um, it's gorgeous for Halloween, but it almost feels too nice to be a Halloween wig. Definitely like an everyday cosplay wig. I, 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 there's a difference between fancy dress wigs and cosplay wigs. <laughs> Mainly the price. But fancy dress wigs are cheap, shimmery, synthetic, whereas cosplay wigs, which is what I tend to look for when I wig shop, are usually like this and the hair is thicker, it's less shiny, and you can make this even more less shiny by spraying dry shampoo on it. This is like the height of me. So, right, so I'm going to pop a wig cap on. I got my own wig cap, so I don't have to steal yours because I had to steal yours last time from the last giveaway video. Does anyone know the theme tune to Coneheads? I, got, I don't know it, can you sing it to me? <laughs> Mr. Potato Head Realness, not Mrs. Mr. Let's try this Teen Titans Cruella wig on. Oh no, don't put the black in that half. This is one thing that I really do not miss about split hair, is when one half of the colour would go to the other side that used to annoy the fuck out of me. Not having that. Oh, I'm just gonna adjust the back. I roughly know what size my head is. Into the cupboard with you now, Chip. Oh my God, I've had that on my, in living in my head rent free for ages now. So we have to do the wig flip. I don't know if that's gonna work because this is really long. <gasps> I didn't cut that bit. Don't forget to cut the little ear bits because I always forget. And unless you want to look like Elvis. I don't think so. Did you know Elvis got with his wife when she was 14 and he was 20 something? Just throwing that out there. Right, so now we're gonna do the wig flip. I'm gonna try because it's so long. <laughs> a bit of the wig cap went flying. I do have a mirror here. My head's too big. It's full of secrets. Oh my god. Okay, but that hairline looks so real. I do not suit no fringe hair and it makes me really uncomfortable. I need a fringe. So the first thing I would do is sort this out. So let's bring this down a little bit. So let's, let's split it. Oh my god. Oh kind of Poundland Lily Munster realness. Oh my god, that is actually so nice. Now I'm missing my split hair so much. It goes nice with this makeup as well. I just wish I had a fringe. If this had a fringe, I would definitely be keeping it. It's getting a little bit tangled, so I would definitely give this a gentle brush. I actually love this. Not that I didn't think I was going to, but I, I never actually seen myself with white hair. Like white, like full on Snow White doing coke in the bathroom, white. And I actually love it. 
What do you think? Does it suit me? Oh my god, let's take some selfies. Guys, I don't want to alarm you, but I've just been taking selfies and now I really want to dye my hair split again. Hello, thumbnail! <laughs> yeah, I really, I just, I love, I have a soft spot for white hair. Mainly because most of us are going to end up with white hair. If we live long enough, our hair's going to go that really nice grey. I love, oh, I love old, old, uh, older people. I love, like, my Nana's hair, where it's white and grey and, oh, I just... I love it, it's so natural. Get out of my face! This is the only thing that I absolutely despise with wigs. Every wig does it, my human hair wigs do it, is all these little front bits. I think, honestly, I think it's because I don't cut them right. All these front bits just get in your face and then you're just like and I can't stand it. But now it's in my mouth. You've got to pay a lot of money to be in there. I'm usually not one to like things like wigs or hair without fringes because I hate my forehead. I really, I know, I know, it's weird. I hate it. I love the little V that I kept because if I was keeping this myself, I wouldn't have thought about that and I would have just cut straight through it. And I'm in love with these bits. Get a curler, curling tong, put it under here and do that. So if you win this, do that. You won't regret it. Um, and it'll make it, it'll make it puff up a little bit more. And I would do that both sides. I've got my mirror, I can't stop looking at the mirror. Just to make it go like that. And you would have a little bit more face shape. It is so long. It is getting tangled. And hair is coming out. But I think that's from where I cut it. I l actually love the length. I'm not a huge fan of too long wigs. Because they tend to get knotty. They get tangled. And... I find the longer wigs are, the more they look like wigs to me. So if I was keeping it, I'd probably cut it to about there. But I do like these curly ends. Uh, i definitely give this a spray as well. It's not shiny, but it would take that, it would make it look more matte and that would help it pass a lot, a lot more. I can't see any wig cap, can you? Um, it's very thick. It's it's very thick and and layered. I can feel like, like, like I've just nipped the hair. I can feel layers of hair there. So you can put this in pigtails quite easily. I didn't think I was gonna like this as much as I actually do. Now I really want white hair. <laughs> oh my god, get on my skin, yo. So this is prize number one. Um, this one will be given away on YouTube and I'll tell you all about how to win it at the end of the video. It's very comfortable as well. I don't feel like my head is itching. Uh, my hair doesn't feel itchy. My scalp doesn't feel irritated, which I know I have a wig cap on, but some there's some wigs that I wear that the itch will go through the wig cap. Um, and this feels very comfortable actually, which is damaging because I want to keep it. <laughs> well, I'll give this one away. Maybe I'll buy another one. If you keep going in my mouth, I am going to go to the police. I feel like this is gonna make one of you very, very happy. Of the black half though, I've got my mirror, I'm like the black half, I think looks so realistic. And I think if you sprayed this, just any dry shampoo, um, it would take that shine away. And I think you could definitely pass it off as real hair, especially with this lace front. If you glued it down, so you wouldn't have um, the little flyaway bits that I have. You'd be laughing. You'd be laughing all the way to that man's apartment. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your rooties. Shake your rooties. Oh my God, Emily, stop. You're making me love it even more. Hi, I just moved in next door. I'm a psychopath. Okay. Oh my God, I gotta take a selfie of that. I've got a message from Ben. What's closing? I'm actually so upset about that. I've just got to share it to my family group chat and oh Nemesis is my favorite ride at Owen Towers. I cannot believe it's closing. Oh, I'm actually so upset <laughs> Ben why you got ruined my video? Oh my god, okay. Well, I guess while well, I'm poor I'm but I guess I'm gonna Plan an impromptu trip to Owen Towers so I can ride Nemesis one more time Joe, I'm so angry about this. Right, let's carry on. Wig's freaking great. <sighs> but I can't wear it. Oh, it is. I'm so upset about this. I need other people to be upset about it too. I need, I've shared it with my family. No one's upset. <laughs> I just felt heartbroken because my phone keeps saying it's wrong. Oh, it's because I put heartbroken. 
Now I want to put a laughing face because I was spelling it wrong. It's like, I'm, heart I'm heartbroken. <laughs> Okay, right, let's get back to this. I genuinely love this. I think this is freaking gorgeous. I bought, I did dress up as Cruella one year for Halloween and Violet was a Dalmatian. And I did buy a cheap, well I thought it was, actually I thought it was a decent price, split black and white wig and it turned out to be horrendous. And it wasn't even white. It came and it was like a, a dirty blonde color kind of what my actual hair ended up turning into but this is solid black and white and i think if you like to wear wigs often or you want your wigs to look real this is definitely one that i would sway more towards i'm i'm loving it i really need a wee now like a heartbroken alton towers wee so i'm gonna take this off because i have one more wig to review for you guys but i will tell you all how to win this bad boy at the end of the video oh <gasps> stuck on my earring it's stuck on my collar. It's stuck on everything. Don't worry, I'll make it all nice. Oh, you can see a little bit of the wig cap now that I've taken it off. Just a tad. Let's put you there because I'll, I'll make you all nice before I give you away. Let's put my wig cap back on. Looking like Pepe Le Pew's demented twin sister. So next I have something, a wig that I'm quite excited for because um, they, they, they really wanted to send me that wig to try and I'm so glad they did because I actually love it. And they were like, well, I suppose you can pick one more wig. Um, again, this is to give away. I love to give back on this channel, so this is to give away. This is a red wig. I have reviewed red wigs before, but I realized that you guys have never seen me actually on video aside from pictures of when I was younger you've never seen me with red hair as I used to have it I go through color phases and um oh that's soft I go through color phases and you know right now it's green and black a few years ago it was blue and black everything was blue and black but when I was a teenager everything was red and black so I often get asked why don't you dye your hair red why do you never dye it red because I've done the whole red thing I had my hair exactly the same as this and I saw this wig and I was like I need to relive that fantasy and I really wanted to give it another go and I can show you guys what I actually look like with proper red hair this feels a lot thinner than the other one and it's a mullet like it's got layers in it and that's exactly why I wanted it because I freaking love mullets the sides are shorter proper proper <laughs> um it's layered black and red it is actually quite a lot thinner than that one um i'm not sure if it's just because it's layered and mullety but the top does feel thinner as well it's got light skin colored cap at the top it's quite difficult to see and it is not lace front but uh, i always say this to people if your if your wig has a fringe don't worry about getting lace front because you won't see it. This one, oh, this one has no wig clips. It has adjustable um, in insides, adjustable insides, <gasps> just like me. It's got elastic clips as well, which, you know, does help, but wig clips, wig slide clips help a lot more. Okay, so, oh God, it's not gonna break. My future isn't even that bright. I'm really excited to try this one. So, um, although it does feel a lot, it still feels real and comfortable and like good quality, but it doesn't feel as good quality as the black and white one. Let's give it a flip. Ooh, oh my God. Oh, that is tiny. Right, let's adjust you a bit more. Oh, it does feel a bit smaller than the other one. Okay, let's try that again. Oh my God, I actually cannot get this on my head. Guys, I'm not joking. I'm not, I'm not joking, I cannot get it on my head. Okay, let me um, let me sort my extensions out a bit. So my hair is hanging down at the back because it won't fit into the wig. So that's, oh, that's better. Um, oh my God, okay, no, I don't like this one. So I'm gonna part it here because I always had a side fringe. Oh, it's in my eye, it's in my eye. The cap bit is here, so I would imagine that would sit there and that, your fringe would come across there, but my hairline is there. You can see where my cap is. So that, that hasn't been managed very well. 
<laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I would like to speak to your manager! There's wig cap there, I don't know if you can see. Um, it's like scrumpled up wig netting cap and it keeps going on my eye. I think if it had some styling, it would be all right. Let me take some selfies. Ben just replied about the nemesis thing. Absolutely ridiculous, and he spelled ridiculous wrong. Oh, it looks pink on the camera. It's very red, it's very, very red. I can't even get a good selfie of this. No, I'm struggling. I'm str guys, I'm struggling. Let's try a center fringe. Okay, so that's a, a, a little bit more. Okay, I like it a tiny bit better with a center fringe, uh, center part, which I don't, I wouldn't usually do, but I, I like it a little bit better. And I absolutely adore the shape of it. I love, because I love mullets. I love a mullet. I, you want to get me in bed, have a mullet, a black one for spikes and piercings and tattoos. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Um, I love, love, love the layers. This is what my actual real hair looks like. It has layers like this and then the long bits. Uh, I just don't like this fringe. Let's poof, let's poof it up a little bit. Hmm? Is it working? Is it doing anything for you? I'm unsure. I don't have a hairband, do I? Or I've got a cat ear hairband. I feel like if the fringe was separate from the rest of the wig, it would look a bit cuter. Mm, I'm not too sure about this one. It was cheaper than, the, I'm taking more selfies. It was cheaper than the other one though. Oh my God, what is that? What is it, what are you? No, I can't even take a selfie. The quality of it though, it feels really nice. The hair itself does feel really nice. And it's very sleek and smooth. I think dry shampoo would make a huge difference with this one because it's very shiny. I just, I don't like how far back that, that fringe bit sits. Oh my God, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respectfully take it off. Like, it looks really nice off, and this is how I would absolutely love to have my hair, just green and black. Where's my straightener? I'm gonna sort my real hair out now, because I'm going out after this. <laughs> and, um, you know, there, I, I, there are levels to the ugliness I am willing to leave my house, but this is not one. These straighteners are like a godsend. I think the black and white wig was definitely a plus and I think that is gorgeous and I love it. The the red don't think was as much of a win. I, I think you need to put, sh I think it needs work. Whereas the black and white one, you can cut the lace and go. The red one I think needs a little bit of shaping, maybe some bits cut off. I don't know, it just, I think it needs a little bit doing to it first. Which, um, because I'm not keeping it, I'm not going to do. Let me just finish my hair. Ah, don't burn my fingers. Don't burn my house down, bro. So that is it for my in-style wig review. I, the store themselves, I do actually, I do quite like, and I think their wigs are quite good. This video review was of these two, and out of these two, this one is a million, like it's heavier, it does also have more length, so that could be why it's heavier, but it feels thicker. I like that it's lace front because it doesn't have a fringe. This one, I don't know. It needs styling for sure. See when it's like not on, it looks really rocked, like 80s rocker. Maybe it was just me, maybe it was just my face, my head, that didn't work. So, but out of these two, I would definitely pick the black and white one. And they arrived very fast as well. So plenty of time to get it ready for Halloween. And I do have a discount code for you to get some money off. But I think that's it. Oh, I need to give you the one, I need to give them away, don't I? So, you can win both these wigs. The black and white one will be given away right here on YouTube. All you have to do is comment below this video where you would wear it. I, it won't, and I will just pick someone completely at random. You can put, I'll, my, I'll wear it to the chip shop to go and get a double battered sausage to insert in myself. And that still counts as an entry. And for you to win the black and red one, head over to my Patreon and find the post all about the wig on there. Um, so I think that's everything. I will ship them worldwide. The competition closes two weeks after the upload date of this video. All the details will be in the description below. I think that's everything. And each wig comes with two wig caps and a wig bag. Nice. Nice bit of maca. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching my Iron Style review. Bit of a 50-50 one, that one. Um, I definitely prefer the black and white one to the black and red one. It's a shame because I feel like the black and red one, had it been black and green and a lower fringe bit, um, like a lower cap, the fringe a bit, I don't know. Um, I feel like then I would have been all over that because that's like my dream hair. Green and black shag mullet is... <sighs> 
I thought it would suit me, I would totally do it. Right, I'm off to cry about Nemesis and I will see you very soon with another video. Much love, boobs, take care of yourself and most of all, stay weird.